everyone! This is Korath Landwalker, and this afternoon we're going to have a little bit of a ground-pounding experience in Star Citizen. But first, a bit of a note concerning Star Citizen. It's time for the Luminalia Holiday. What is Luminalia? Well, it has it right here. Luminalia is an annual holiday celebrated by both the Banu, which is an alien species, and humans on December 22nd. It originated as the irregularly held Banu Festival Thiki Thikti Yeah, I knew I was going to butcher the pronunciation here. Thikti Efanga, the Glow Festival, and is marked by the lighting of ceremonial lamps that stay lit until their fuel is consumed. While the lamps are burning, all Banu, no matter where they are, are, cons are considered one solely a group of cohabiting Banu who've formed an alliance centered around a specific shared skill set. They invite friends, business associates, and passing strangers into their solis and give them gifts so that they will always have something to sell. Because Banu are all about them. Well, there's a reason why their big ship is called the Merchantmen. Today, Banu and humans commemorate Luminalia with gift exchanges, present, present hunts, glowing lights, food and drink, and gatherings of family, friend, business associates, and acquaintances. Now, the reason I point this out is that for the next 12 days, each day, a gift is going to be given based on the Luminalia calendar here. And it started today, which means you can click for free to get a free Luminalia shirt thing. Yeah, Luminalia sweater. So, it's something that you can, you know, get for free and wear around the verse. So, log in every day into your account. It's free. Why not? Okay. That takes care of that. Now we're going to go into the meat of our stream, so to speak. And I seem to be flat out knocked down drunk. I've been falling over a lot here uh, in Olasar today. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I'm just, dr I just really hung over, man. <laughs> man. I seem to be chewing on something, too. I'm, I'm thinking that Olasar might be a little unstable today. Or maybe it was that guy who knocked me over. You brute. Trying to, are you trying to push around somebody who's carrying all this armor and weaponry? Is that really the smartest thing you could be doing? And so it goes. Alrighty then. Let's take a look at where things stand. I'm here at Port Olasar, in orbit around the gas giant of Crusader. And this is where we're going to basically be uh, embarking on our afternoon's entertainment. You see, over the last couple of weeks, I've, we've had the expo rolling through, and then we, I did a bit of the bounty hunting to get my VHRT license, even though I could get after my ERT licenses, thanks to working with an associate of mine, so to speak. And it's been all about space battles. But now, I'd kind of like to go down to Earth, so to speak. And by down to Earth, I mean ground missions. Now, here over at uh, the Crusader area, there isn't a whole lot in the way of bounty hunting missions for ground targets. I mean, you got your group warrants and your usual space bounties, but if you want to be doing ground missions, you want to be doing mercenary work. And right now, well, let's take a look at reputation, shall we? With Crusader security, you'll notice here that we have two columns here. One for bounty hunting rep, and one for security rep. And as you can see, I've done a little bit on the ground here, but not all that much. Probably got hit a few times thanks to some interesting details that I'll go into momentarily. For bounty hunting, I've gotten high enough to be tracker and get a 5% bonus on my pay. We don't see anything like that for the ground combat. But presumably as you go up the ranks here, you will have more and more ground missions available to you, which are higher paying and commensurately more difficult. 
That's the theory. How that works out is still up in the air. So because I am relatively low on the totem pole as far as the ground pounding, I have a single mission available. A security mission called Provide Backup. Basically, security post Thackeray on Daymar is being threatened by a group of criminals. And while they've got security personnel, they want contractors to help, you know, root them, well, root them out. Deal with the bad guys. Now that said, uh, they do take it personally if you shoot their security people. Moral of this story here, don't shoot security people. That's not as easy as it sounds. Now, I do have an associate who is on the way. Uh, one of my org mates from the Eternal Writers Org. And in fact, let's uh, just slap that up here now. Is going to be coming along to give a hand on this extremely brutal adventure. And the first thing I'm going to do, because uh, he is going to be giving me a hand on this, is I'm going to share the mission. This way we both get paid. Granted, it's still the same pool, so basically we, I get half, he gets half. But theoretically, you'd also get it done twice as quickly. Besides, we're not doing this for the money. You may, you may have noticed in here, in my wallet here, I am a little shy of two and a half million. I'm in pretty good financial shape right now, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I don't go overboard on buying components for my ships and all that, and my biggest expense is either fuel, repairs, or buying new ground equipment when horrible things happen to me. And horrible things have been known to happen. Because this is Star Citizen, and this will come as a shock, and there he is! Cap is there, and one of these days, I'm going to actually have this thing mapped to a, a moat somewhere, to a key. In any event, we are going to pull out the Carrick and do some damage. I'm going to grab the Carrick, so give me a second to pull it out, and hopefully it won't vanish on us again. That was a bit of a problem. Uh, I was monkeying around. Uh, yeah. He uses the keyboard writing using slash salute. Yeah. Oh, that'll work too, I guess. Gee, typing commands. Who would have thunk it? Okay, actually, let me check out which 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 character to pull out. Because I've got two characters thanks to the way loners work. <laughs> He's old school. And I want to make sure I grab the correct character. Because one of them has my better quantum drive and one of them does not. I do hear you. Okay, number two is the one we want. And we're going to pull it out on the pad. Jeopardy theme music here. Pad zero, zero. Double zero. And I am facing the wrong way. Here we go. Somebody seems to have forgotten to buy ammo. Either that or the game is glitching. It could go either way. No, he's definitely by the terminal, so he's definitely picking up ammo. Oh, med pens. Yeah, that's even more important. Yes. Now, last night, we tried to do a, well, early evening, technically. We tried to do a ground mission, this very ground mission, in fact, on my Carrick. And things were going well. I'd stocked up the Carrick with equipment for spare equipment in case I got shot. Run that by me again. I'd just gotten shot. Well, oh. Proximity mics. Who'd have thunk it? In any event, there was a little bit of an accident. We were flying towards the security outpost, and then the character just vanished. Poof! Gone! I was floating in space, and slowly Olsar loaded in. Of course, that just began a whole heap of comedy of errors routine that, if I'd been streaming, would have been worthy of a highlight reel of 20 minutes or more.
Fortunately for all involved, I wasn't screaming at the time. This time, I'm not even bothering stocking up spare equipment. Any spare equipment, I'm just going to take off the dead bodies of the bad guys in the bunker. However, I am going to take the really huge risk of... Actually, no, you know what? No, actually, it doesn't really matter. I was going to say I want to hold off on uh, selecting my regeneration area, but I'm regenerating in Orison anyway, so I might as well tag uh, the medical bay on my ship. And I see Cap is closing in on the ship, so he'll be aboard shortly. And the medical bay in the Carrick has changed a little bit. It used to be over here interacting with this panel, but now... Just like all the hospitals and clinics, we have the digital medical assistant on the left. And I'm going to upgrade into my Carrick here, transfer my imprint, so that now, when I die, excellent, he's on board. When I die, I will respawn in the Carrick. Presuming, of course, that the Carrick hasn't exploded. That's still an open question. Open sesame. Here we go. Get in the old pilot seat and power everything on. Uh, let let me let's see. Da, 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 da. Let me know if once you hit the med bay and I'll take off. Oh, well, I, yeah, I can hear you. <laughs> oh, I had no idea if you had the stream running or not. And, you know, I know there's a bit of a delay between when I say something and when you hear it, thanks to the way uh, Twitch deals with its latency issues. There's usually like about eight seconds. Right now it's like two, really? Dang, that's pretty good. Uh, I, st I still have like an eight second delay, so. Then again, I'm using an iPad, not a computer to listen to everything too, so Thank you. that change, that might have a bit of an impact. Uh, I've never 100% trusted the app on that. All right, step one, orbital marker number two. Because it is on the other side of the gas giant, and well, you can't really go through the gas giant without horrible consequences. And by horrible, I mean compressed down into a fine mist. Now, one of the things I like about this Carrick is I'm using the last year's best in show paint which I always like, the gold and white trim. I'm a fan. Hmm, that break alignment? Oh no, it's even worse. The calibration just never happened. Uh, why is it not... Man, I sure hope this isn't telling me... Okay. Quantum travel's been weird lately. <laughs> That's the only way to say it. It's been weird. Now, Daymar is one of the more popular moons in the area simply because it's so picturesque. And hopefully it'll be on the light side of the moon, which means you'll understand what I mean when I start the approach. Now, ordinarily, my weapon systems tend to be along the line of uh, carrying a Gemini S-71 and a Gemini C-54. However, they kind of went away during the really horrible incident uh, last night, so I'm having to make do with other equipment. 
a P4 AR, and a Lumen submachine gun. Okay, now here's the part where things went south on us uh, last time. We were on approach to security post Thackeray, and then all of a sudden, poof, we're floating in space. Hopefully, that will not happen here. Incidentally, if you see another Carrick sitting out there, or at least a wreckage of it, it's probably mine left over from yesterday, so. I believe in us! <laughs> You gotta believe! Now, this is a relatively flat area as far as Daymar is concerned, but Daymar has also got a lot of big canyons and stuff. And someone's using one of our weapon systems, it sounds like. <laughs> yep. Now, be nice, we don't want to hit the security post because they will probably not be shooting us and it would be really rude to get crime stat right off the bat today. There will be security guards there, but they are theoretically on our side. Theoretically. However, accidents happen and people get shot and, well, these things happen. Do I have med guns? I do have a med gun and med pens, so hopefully between them we shouldn't have too many horrible things happen to us. Now that said, that's why we have a med bay here. <laughs> uh, med pens, but not a gun. Also no tractor beam. I have the tractor beam in my backpack, but I haven't equipped it. Okay, unfortunately, we seem to have our destination inside of a crater. But I think we should be, uh, I think it's big enough that it will still fit us. May all my guesses be right. Let's see what it looks like. No! <laughs> well, if we're really lucky, we won't really need to worry about med bays. No, it's not a cave mission. <laughs> No, 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 not this time. I will not rule it out for the future, however, because I'm a twisted human being. Okay, we are down. And I think that the ramp should be okay. We'll find out quickly enough the ramp doesn't go flush to the ground. All right, let us go down. Oh, he's just standing there. Are you sure you don't want to park a little further out? <laughs> wine, wine, wine. <laughs> are we being shot at? Nobody else is on the Carrick. We are being shot at. What the heck? I don't know. That might uh, take us. That might hit our crimes. Oh, this ain't good. Why are they freaking shooting us? No, no, I, I turned all the engines off, but I left the power on. Mainly because of the habit of, I have of, you know, not trusting people at Port Olisar or open landing pads not to kill me. Well, it's down. Okay, well, that was an unexpected and unwelcome start. The enemy may have already compromised this building. <clears throat> yeah, it might be controlled by pilot pirates at this point. I'm going to take a second here, make sure my guns are set properly. 
I want short bursts on my uh, rifle, so I'm going to make sure that's set properly. Submachine gun, automatically short bursts, good. So hopefully, when I start shooting people, I won't have a accidental friendly fire incident. Can I share the mission again? Oh, you didn't get it? Okay, give me a second here. Gee, I wonder if I'd, I wonder if that's why they started firing at us. Mission shared. Maybe they were okay with me. Maybe they just didn't like you. Do you have it now? Do you have the mission now? Okay, awesome. Time to go to the sub-level. Anyone who is I'll be back, of course. Sounds reason sounds reasonable. I don't even have any attachments on this gun, that's how sad it is. <laughs> Anybody who is not wearing dark blue. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, let's see, is that one of ours? He's wearing white, I think he's one of ours. Six hostiles remain. Boy, this Crusader security people are good. Six hostiles, four of them already dead. Whoop! Oh, I just heard gunfire. Oh, hi there. That's right, bad person. Well, this is going a lot faster than expected. Boy, Cr Crusader security is good. <laughs> now, here's where things get potentially interesting. Because the last target on a lot of these missions has regularly failed to spawn in. So whether or not this actually succeeds and completes is an open question. Now I have heard that some people leave and come back. Oh, we got a loot crate here. Might as well take a look what's inside. Any ammo? Uberov, Uberov, salvo frag. I'll take the cyan compensator. I will try to take the Cyan Compensator. And I'm going to let Cap have all the rest there because, well, I just need ammo. <laughs> Although, I if, if I find an S-71 or C-54, I will grab those. But for the most part, I really don't need... Uh, right now, I'm using a uh, P-4... P4AR and the uh, 